Okay, we're well, carrying on with the uh, third third of Yang Lu Chan's corrections. Um, we've got a couple of corrections on the very first bit, which is the same as the beginning of the second bit. Um, however, just before I do that, I just want to stress the most important thing in your Tai Chi, which only a small percentage of people ever get, and so therefore only a small percentage of people only really ever get at the higher levels of Tai Chi, and, and, and it's only one thing, just one thing that you have to get. And I've spoken about it before, but it's very difficult to put into words because it's an internal thing. It's a very difficult thing to actually understand and, and, and to finally get. And no one can teach it to you. It's got to come from within yourself. All I can do is try and find ways to translate or transmit what it is, what that one thing is. Of course, you've got to know, this, this comes after, of course, knowing the movements and their exact progression and exactly how to do them, which is why we're doing this correction tape, of course, because so many people go on to the advanced stuff before, they, before they, they run, before they can crawl. So you must, you must, first of all, crawl before you can walk and then before you can run. You can't go on to the advanced stuff straight away. But the, the one thing that, that makes Taiji stand alone from every other thing is Sung. And I know I've spoken about Sung many, many, many times, but just in my own training, it's becoming even more and more and more apparent that that's the one thing that makes it stand alone from in, every, everything else. And if you haven't got it, then you're just doing Taiji the way everyone else does it. And you don't want to do it the way everyone else does it. You want to do it the way Yang, Yang Lu Chan did it. You want, to, you want to do it the way Yang Xiao Hu did it. Or Chang, my teacher, Chang Yu Chan. And hopefully in the future the way I would do it. So that's what you want to be able to do it as. Not, not like everyone else, not like all the, all the schools in America and, you know, and all over the world who just teach Tai Chi. Yeah, Tai Chi. I teach Tai Chi. Let's do some... Yeah, there you go. It's an internal thing. Without the internal, you might as well you know, go for a swim every day you're getting just as much benefit out of swimming as you do from doing Taiji without the internal. And the Sung is simply that. There it is. That's all you've got to do to gain the higher benefits of Taiji. It's just what I'm doing now. And you have to hold that feeling whilst you're doing the Taiji form. And, you, and if you have that feeling, you notice my voice is going a bit funny now because it, it, that feel, that's what happens. It's, it's, it's reptile brain, yes, but you don't have to think to yourself, oh, I'll get into this reptile brain because you can't feel the brain, but you can feel your hands and your feet and the rest of your body. You can't feel your brain. There's no, you can operate on a brain and you don't feel anything. There's no feeling. You can't, you can't hurt the brain, you see. So you can't say, oh, mm, go into the reptile brain, go into the reptile brain. You can't do it. You lose doing it that way. But you can go into Sung, and you can't go into Sung without activating reptile brain. And you can't do Sung, well, that's what I said, you can't do Sung without re re doing reptile brain. You can't act activate the reptile brain without going into to Sung either. And in the past I've told you about this little analogy of having a pipe with a chain in it, and that's your backbone, and when you let the, the chain go, it's got nowhere to go, so it just, it just all falls on top of each other. And that's the very first thing that you have to do with your backbone, and that takes you into Sung. And then that immediately, immediately, you get that feeling just there, there first, and then more importantly up to here. So you go into GB20 first, and then it rises up the back of your head. And that's called the energy rises up the back, and that's one of the most important classics in Taiji is the energy rises energy must rise, they say, but the translation has been corrupted and what the, the original Chinese saying was the energy, or the qi, must rise up the back. And you get that feeling as soon as you... I'm not, I haven't got it now. No, 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 haven't got it. Now, uh, there it is, straight away. It's going up the back and it's coming right around to the, this area of the face. You immediately feel something here, and I can't say to you it's a tingling sensation because it isn't. I feel a something right here. Another really good thing to do, you know, every time we go for a walk up our hill, is to. We all have not so much the ability of dogs or the same senses, but we have near to them. 
it's just that we've come to rely upon our other senses and our, our human sophistication so much over the years, over the you know thousands and thousands of years and millions of years, that we haven't lost the ability that dogs have. We just don't. It's just become inactive, or it's become desensitized. So an excellent way to get some of that communication skill and those those survival energies back that the animals have, in particular dolphins and whales, is when you go for a walk next time, in particular if you're out in the country, it's because in, in the cities, of course, all this pollution and, and all the poisons and cars and, and everything else dulls our senses. And so you have an ideal opportunity when you're living in a place like this, when you go for a walk, to get your senses back. And you literally start to smell everything. There'll be times there where, when, it, when we were just sitting in the house. My father had this too. He had a huge conker there. Maybe when I get to his age, I'll have a huge conker. It wasn't through drinking because he didn't drink. But you smell everything. You can smell things from, you know, I'll be sitting there. I'll say, Sam, you, 